Dear viewers, subject of the day is differential protection of a power transformer. Please watch. Contents This is a picture of a transformer B in a substation and this is the transformer. This transformer is protected by differential relay through HVCT and LVCT. The zone of protection is selected. The zone in between the two cities this point to this point is protected zone. Any fault, whether it may be earth fault or overcurrent fault, either it is inside transformer or outside transformer, differential relay will be operated to issue a tripping of both sides circuit breaker to protect the whole system within its zone of protection. A transformer is one of the major equipment in power system. It is a static device totally enclosed and usually immersed in oil and therefore the fault occurs on it is usually rare. But the effect, even a rare fault, may be very serious for a power transformer. Hence, the protection of power transformer against possible fault is very important. The fault occurs on the transformer is mainly divided into two types, external fault and internal faults. External fault that is through fault occurs due to a fault outside of protection zone which is cleared by the relay system outside the transformer's protection zone within the shortest possible time in order to avoid any damage to the transformer occurs due to those fault though no fault within the transformer itself. The protection for internal fault that is fault within protected zone within boundary of a transformer is to be provided by using differential protection system. Differential protection schemes are mainly used for protection against phase to phase and phase two earth faults. The differential protections of transformers, power transformers, is based on merge price circulating current principle. Such type of protection are generally used for transformer operating exceeding 2 MVA. What is differential relay? A differential relay which operates to the vector difference between two or more similar electrical quantities. What is differential protection? Protection of equipment like transformer and generator is done by incorporation of differential relay within its protection circuit is known as differential protection. Working principle of differential relay. The differential relay are current differential relay in which vector difference between the currents entering the primary winding and current leaving the secondary winding of a transformer is used for sensing and relaying operation. Here the transformer is protected by differential protection the current entering the primary winding is measured by HVCT and the current leaving secondary winding is measured by LVCT. 
protected zone means the zone which falls within two cities during normal operation and external fault the protection is balanced and cities rating are such that the secondary current are equal that is i1 equal to i2 the victor differential current i1 minus i2 is zero i operation is equal to summation of vector i1 minus vector i2 is equal to zero and relay not operates when fault occurs within protected zone the current entering the primary winding and currents leaving secondary winding is no more equal because some current flows to the fault hence vector difference of i1 minus i2 is no longer zero but has some values and it flows through the operating coil of the relay and it operates to issue tripping of both side circuit breaker instantly iop is equal to summation of vector i1 minus vector i2 is equal to x where x not equal to 0 the relay operates please watch carefully and be clear about the protection transformer hv circuit breaker lv circuit breaker hvct and lvct when transformer is made on inverse current will flow through the transformer hv winding but no current will flow through lv winding this may leads operation of differential relay which is prevented either by blocking or by feeding third harmonic currents through the restraining coil watch the flow of city secondary currents through the relay and pilot wires during normal operation or through fault But when fault occurs, suppose earth fault occurs at HV side winding of transformer, the fault current is equal to difference of currents between two CT secondaries. That is fed to operating coil which issues a tripping of both sides circuit breakers. A simple example is brought here. Please watch carefully. This is the two winding transformer protected by differential protection. Suppose primary side voltage of the transformer is 132 kV 
and that of secondary side is 33 kV. Therefore, transformation ratio of the transformer is V2 by V1 is equal to 33 by 132 is equal to 0.25. If any load at primary side is 100 ampere, then it will be 100 by 0.25 is equal to 400 ampere at 30 degree side. The transformer is protected by two numbers of CT, one at 130 kV side, that is HB side, and another is 30 kV side, that is LB side. The CT at HB side has a ratio 200 by 1 ampere, and CT at LB side has a ratio 800 by 1 ampere. The area of protection is limited between the two cities. This is the protected zone of the transformer. Any fault, either earth fault or overcurrent fault within this zone will be detected and protected by the differential relay. During normal operation, suppose a load at HB side is 100 ampere then it will be at the LB side is 400 ampere so the secondary current of the HB city will be 100 by 200 by 1 CTR is equal to 0 0.5 ampere again for the same load, the secondary current at secondary CT, that is LV CT, will be 400 by CT ratio, that is 400 by 800 by 1 is equal to 0 0.5 ampere. So, in pilot wire, same current will be fed from either side, that is 0 0.5 5 ampere. So, no question of current flow through the operating coil is arised. What is through fault? Through fault of a transformer is a fault occurs outside of its protected zone. A heavy fault current is fed to the fault point by the transformer though there is no fault at the said transformer as example fault at feeder during occurrence of through fault the transformer carries high fault current which flows through both cities and obviously same current according to their ratio. So, being equal in magnitude, the difference of current is zero. That is, no current will flow through the operating coil, but there is a possibility of being saturation of cities. For protection from through fault, such through fault separate overload protection is used outside of the differential protection zone. Now suppose an earth fault is suddenly occurred at a winding of magnitude 300 ampere which involves the earth to flow. LV side city will not sense the fault current as it will not flow through the said city only sense load current of 400 ampere but HV city will sense the fault current of 300 ampere in addition to its normal load current of 100 ampere as 
both current will flow through the HVCT. At this instant, LVCT secondary current will remain 0.5 ampere, but HVCT secondary current will be 100 plus 300 ampere by CTR CT ratio is equal to 400 by 200 by 1 is equal to 2 ampere. So, difference of current I1 minus I2 is 2 ampere minus 0 0.5 ampere that is equal to 1.5 ampere which will flow through the operating coil. Operating coil operates the relay and issues a trip of both side circuit breakers instantly and thus the transformer is protected by differential protection.
शो माई डेर व्यूअर्स इट वॉज द सिंपल ओवर व्यू ऑफ डिफेंस प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ ए पावर ट्रांसफर मार्ट थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो